Thanks for tuning in to another physics lesson with Mr. M. In this video, I'm going to cover another free fall type problem. So our problem for today is a ball is dropped from a 20 meter building. How fast is the ball traveling just before it hits the ground? So as always, we should start with our known and our unknowns. We start off in the problem. It tells us that the ball is dropped. So that in itself is a known value. When things are being dropped, that tells us that the initial velocity is zero meters per second. It's dropped from a 20 meter building. So that's gonna give us our height, which is our delta y. And since it's falling downwards, we're gonna attach a negative value to it. As the ball falls, it falls in free fall. We know that the acceleration in free fall is that of gravity. So negative 9.8 meters, meters per second squared. And then our unknown value here since it's asking how fast just before it hits the ground, we are trying to find VF. Now, when it comes to free fall problems, you have about four equations to choose from. So that's what you see on the right side of your screen there. And the most difficult part is picking the right equation. The easiest way to pick the right equation is to take a look at your knowns and your unknowns and figure out which variable is not even listed. So if you take a look at what we have, the only thing that's not even listed in our knowns or unknowns is the time. They didn't give us time in this problem. So when you go to look at the equations, you're gonna pick the equation that does not have time in it. And so for this problem, we're gonna use this equation down here because time is not even listed in the equation. So at this point, it's just a matter of plugging in the right values. So VF squared, VF is our unknown, is gonna equal VI squared, VI is zero, plus two times the acceleration times the height. So let's simplify. VF squared is gonna equal, well zero squared is zero. Two times negative 9.8 times negative 20 gives us a value of 392. We want VF all by itself. So to get rid of the square, we're going to square root. So the square root of 392 is 19.8 meters per second. We should technically throw a negative because the object is traveling downwards. All right. So I hope that this video lesson has been helpful in helping you solve your own physics problem.